Hi everybody, welcome back to Tetrix RoboBench. I'm Tim from Pitsco Education. Today we want to talk about one of the unique aspects of the Prime, Tetrix Prime starter set, and that's the, the fastening uh, system, the, the quick rivets and the thumb screw and wing nuts. Uh, one of the things that Pitsco had in mind when we uh, created the, the Prime starter set was the um, ability to, in a classroom, intuitively and very quickly put things together, take them apart. And the heart of that system is our quick rivet um, that is a patented item that, that Pitsco designed specifically for this, this set. So we wanted today go over those and kind of show uh, how that works exactly and what makes it so effective. So I'm going to start and I've got a couple things here to, to demonstrate some things, but obviously the heart of that is our quick rivet. Um, so it has two parts. It has the, the main body of the rivet and then a locking connector uh, peg. So when you have a uh, prime, Tetrix Prime starter beam, um, you've got obviously a very intuitive way for that quick rivet to go into the whole pattern. But what we want to make sure everybody understands is the fact that when you put that in and you put the locking um, peg in, that goes in pretty easy. But if you don't have the proper thickness, the peg really is not, the connector rivet is not very effective. You can see that I can pull that out and it actually has um, some, a lot of play. It won't come out with that locking peg, but it's got a lot of play. So the way this was designed, and I'm going to pull this back out so we can look at it, there is a ridge uh, around that that when this locking peg goes in, it causes that to um, swell out and hold it in place. But it's designed to go through two layers. So we have, along with the um, beams, we have outside brackets and we have inside brackets. So when you put an inside bracket in, you obviously have two layers. And when we put that quick rivet in, uh, with those two layers, and then we put the uh, locking uh, peg in. You see now, because I'm going through two layers, I've got a very firm connection. And we can do that with uh, the outside brackets as well. I can put in um, the uh, connector rivet, connector peg, and you see I've got a very firm connection. Now, the, the other side to that is, and we know people are going to do this, it's very also sometimes you might be tempted to put um, with the uh, quick rivet, you might be tempted to put an outside bracket with an inside connector. Now you need to be careful doing that because now actually we have three layers. Uh, and when you do that, um, you can't get that little connector ridge all the way through so that when the uh, connector peg goes through, it locks out. So in that situation, you probably would uh, be better off to use our thumb screw um, and our wing nut. So the thumb screw goes through. We've got actually again a wing nut that locks in place with the whole pattern. So that's a very uh, again intuitive way to use that wing nut. And when we tighten that down by hand, we've got a very firm connection. So Again, we've got quick rivets that are very easy to put in, take out, and then uh, we've got the thumb screws and the wing nuts. So those are the two connecting uh, types that go with the Tetrix Prime starter kit. I do want to go ahead, though, and point out that one of the advantages of using the quick rivets is the ability to integrate with the LEGO components. Tetrix has had a long history with LEGO components, and the ability to connect intuitively to those, and that's uh, uh, held through with the, the invent of the um, actual quick rivet and actually enhanced a little bit. So when I use a quick rivet, I can remove the Tetrix locking pin. I can replace that with a Lego connector peg, a three uh, unit uh, connector peg, and then the Lego pieces simply will snap onto that and I have a mounting point uh, for all of the, my Lego components. And you can see I've, I've actually constructed here a little bit of a, a model that shows that if I use the 
two layers, and that's very important to maintain the Lego dimension. Um, you can see I can in two and both dimensions because I've got a symmetrical piece. I can connect all of my Lego components and very quickly and very easily maintaining all of my Lego dimensions. I have a very um, unique and easy way to mount the Lego components onto the Tetrix Prime um, structure. It becomes very, very intuitive. So that's uh, the connector systems for the Tetrix Prime starter set. Uh, we hope we found that uh, beneficial when you begin to build with your Prime sets and create all your new and exciting uh, Prime robots. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope you have a great day and build some exciting robots. We're looking forward to seeing them.